the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. We are just across the Allegheny River from downtown Pittsburgh at rain-soaked Heinz Field in the Steel City. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft. And it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. On first down, Fields steps away. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. They couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to bring the ball in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape in the previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. First down throw, Fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now a handoff as they run left side. And we'll get it down to the 47 here. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, don't give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Running game working. Now stick with it on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Fields. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what the opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That's exactly what we saw them execute it. It really does, and in practice, it wasn't about a lot of good shots on the opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little bit. That, that they are. And you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about the game. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought it down. And going to the books is a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, Maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Well, he's going to go for it all. Now it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great effort there. 42 yards. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Kickoff 
team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want to just heat down his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. something those linemen have to watch out for and that time it costs them. Still check curl, check curl, check curl. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. They gotta give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third manageable with that run. this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They'll look to throw. Right side here, and that's complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they finish third down. That's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on the punt for the first time tonight. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And again this time the tailback. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard game. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. 
throw. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 35 yard line. That was one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right away on the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down they just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw he's going to go up top again into a double team and it's intercepted picked off at the 11 and a good turnover there as his guys will get the football back well i tell you brandon this ball is intercepted but it is third down so the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it Really, this kind of works like a punt. Well, not looking good so far. What happened now? Interception. Oh, dude, it was a shit show with my third. <laughs> it was awful. I actually kicked a game winning field goal to win the game. Did the you Hopper really? Tray. Yeah. Damn. But it was it was terrible once he come in. Like the first drive, I think we lost like 15 yards. <clears throat> I'm still trying to decide what I want to do. What you mean? For my team, I need to add. I feel like I need to add more secondary depth so I can be more versatile. But I'm kind of in a spot where I don't have people to move. Yeah. <sighs> Hard to say. I know I'm starting both of my rookie defensive players. Are you? Yeah, the guy that the D lineman I drafted, and then uh, yeah, Bush obviously is going to start at free. I'm just going to use the Forrest Buckner as a uh, depth situational guy. Yeah. backup. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, he'll probably be, uh, might play some, like, rush D tackle or something for me. Yeah. Because I'll pull the, the end will come off the field in those situations because Big B and, uh, and Chase will come off the edge. Yeah. Fucking Fields is feeling like a badass out here against my goddamn backups. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, yeah, that's another oh, glitch, too. All right, Kenny Pickett. See what you got. Last year, you fucking killed me. But. There he goes. Just let me look at their card now.
The only one that's not available is Porter. Obviously, because I just got him. Porter. Yeah, Joey Porter. I don't even... Yeah, I don't think he's on there. But I was just... Damn, the injuries is fucking... Just everywhere. Just all over the place. Oh, you gotta pick that, Joey! Damn! It's like one of those uh, animations where the guy goes down, but like he's not totally down, and so all the people around him are just going insane. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Hicks is insane. Like he got outside, dude, and was just walking past motherfuckers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yay, touchdown. My backup quarterback. Sambuki, or whatever his fucking name is. Sambucci. The lefty. I had to get used to that first drive. Here's a hundred from change. All right. The Kyle Hamilton really worked out for Bradley, didn't it? Yeah. That was perfect. I'm tied up with the Rams, 7-7. Seven, seven. Last year I got fucking skull drug by him, I think. What do you want? Uh, I don't have to go back and look again, because I got to go cut a guy. Okay. Uh, okay, I, what the value is on those guys, I'll take, Um, if you go look at their awards and see where they're drafted. Uh, If they're undrafted... But they're like in mid 70s. I'll take like a fifth or sixth. If they're drafted, like say they're in the third, I'll take a fourth and down. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll just send me something and we'll negotiate it. Well, I'm going after two of them, so I gotta. Okay. Two of them? Yeah. All right.
Dude, there's so many people getting hurt in this game. Go oh, get him. Good stuff, Joey. I like this Joey Porter guy. He's pretty good. I've been low-key wanting him on my team for a while. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> This motherfucker got some spin on his passes, though, I'll tell you that. Yeah. The Nick Sambuki kid. Sambushi? I'm gonna have to fucking put that one in Google and see how to pronounce it. Damn, how many injuries are gonna happen? Fuck! Come on, guys, you bunch of sissies. And you wonder why he ain't a starter. Get off the ground. Okay. Guess I'm kicking a field goal. Were the Texans backups any good? Uh, they weren't bad. Anybody stand out? Quarterback, uh, Hudson Card played decent. Yeah. Hudson Card. Where did he transfer in real life? SMU, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. Because that uh, Mardecki kid transferred to Wisconsin? I, I don't know. I think he did. Mordecai. Mordecai. I'm going to gauge eight here. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. 
Yeah, I run a bunch of. I run two or three fake punts and a fake field goal just for the hell of it. Did you really? I do it every preseason. Hell yeah, just to see what happens, huh? Mm hmm. Alright. I'm only going after one of them now. Okay. Uh, and he was. a fifth round pick? Let me look at it again. Yeah, you can offer me a fifth or a sixth or a seventh. Dalen Austin. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. just going to play backup free for me. Uh, uh, he <laughs> Did I make him available? I think so. Okay. Are you sure? I mean, I can go double check. I had to. I just went to your regular roster after you yeah. kicked me out of everything. Yeah. Or I did that because I had to go cut a player, but I'll go double check. Because I don't no, I have to go look because I'm trying to see. I gotta figure out my. I got too many people in the secondary. But that's a good problem to have, you know what I mean? Yeah. But at this time, I gotta like kind of. I want yeah, he's some available. Of, okay. On trade block. It's uh, him, Steve Gilliam, Lamont Moss. Yeah. Okay. And then the other Lamont at safety. Yeah, we'll do the other. We'll do the trade talks when I get out of this game. Uh, I mean that should be good. Yeah, I did a a seventh for our, this year and a six for next because I don't have a six for the current year. Okay. Now I gotta try to get this running back. Ten to seven at halftime. A battle in Pittsburgh, and it's fucking raining its ass off. <laughs> God damn it, I keep fucking. Well. Hey, punk. Hmm. Uh, football. We're, we're playing. <laughs> uh, nobody's playing right now. <laughs> Did he say what? It's about my third string quarterback. See what he's, see what he's talking about. I'm going to go after the other Raiders running back. Who? Andrew Richards. He's on trade block, too. What's the difference between them? Uh, six overall. The other kid's 77 overall. This one's 71. Yeah. And Little... then you can actually play his power back. Yeah. I mean, I could play a manual there, but I don't want to have to... Uh... Run him into the ground. Yeah. I don't know. I might. Because, I mean, technically, Matt Cobb could start. Jelani yeah. could be the third down back. Emmanuel could be the power back. Yep. And then, and then you could put rotation. in, then you could put Emmanuel in wherever he's Yeah, needed. in the other sets, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it alone. That's what I did with Brownlee last year, you know what I mean? Ready Brownlee for what, punk? Well, I'm getting a spanking for. You don't want these problems. Give me just a second, Cody. I got to whoop a little boy. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm getting jumped. Give him one to the nose. No. <laughs> no nose stuff. That's like against the rules. Oh, oh, got okay. hit in the nose a long time ago. He don't like it. Yet. Makes me cry. He's pressing buttons. Slap him across the face like I did. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? <laughs> What's up, kid? Am I beating up my aunt? I beat up my aunt. Give him a good slap across the face for me, for old times' sake. I don't know. Give me beat up. You can give me beat up. No, you could. You could take Dawson. You could take Unc. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. So I'm gonna have to teach y'all how to play this game. I today. I try to you day Monday. Okay. Well, I need lessons. I need as many as I can get. My way. My way. Oh, I love me. Oh, he's done, Reggie. Yeah, he's done. He's I'm like, I have to come. Would you talk to him? What is it? I said, uh, I think he's going to get Mama to get her to watch watch him talk to you. He's he's amazed by that, ain't he? Yes. He was smiling the whole time. Technology, man. I missed a field goal. Pushed it to the right. Come on. Get up here. I do not I do not Do what? <laughs> I do not Why are you screaming in the mic, boy? Like, what's your name? What's your name? Cody, what's your name? I'm Liam Beck. Liam? Nice to meet you, Liam. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Yes, too. <laughs> Can do it. Got stuff. That's cool, huh? You didn't know you could talk to people on the I hope he don't want you touching him now. <laughs> Why? It's okay. Uh, Mama's been cutting up tomatoes and cucumber for a salad, I assume. And if you tell Liam that there's dirty hands or anything, he uh, freaks out. Really? Yes, he hates being dirty. That's funny. You pull that door too. That's funny. He's something else. He is. A mess. Mm, what about this young man? Ah, freak. Here's a quarter and a Dallas beat the hell out of Los Angeles Chargers. Am I surprised? No. Somebody I saw earlier won 42 to 7. Damn. I think somebody beat the Vikings 42 to 7. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I think it was the Vikings beat somebody. I have to look. <laughs> no. What did he say? He asked me if I'm ready to go to work. Now he's he's got safety glasses on. Now he's <laughs> Take a picture, dude. That's funny. Come here. Thing stinks. Don't smell that sweatband.
That's funny, dude. Well, that didn't work out. I tried to RPO curl route, and it got tipped and picked. I think I'm going to run a different system every week of the preseason. Like offense-wise? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Just got a new D end. Who? Antoine Powell from the Chargers. Had to pay a decent price for him, but I'm not mad about it. 77 overall. Uh, speed rusher, so it gives me a little bit more speed on my front. And How old is he? Uh, 74 block shed, and I gotta go look. I can't remember. He's in his 20s. Below 25. Yeah. Should be, I think. I traded him a second and a seventh for him. Oh no, he's 26. Shit, never mind. That's okay. He'll be alright. He's a role player. Yeah. He'll contribute in some capacity. Knowing how my D-line likes to stay hurt, I needed him. Yeah, I know, right? Big Jerry McLaughlin had a hell of a game. Did he? Yeah. I, I think Jesse him. drafted him. I thought you may have had him. No, I never had him. I looked at him, but I never had him. Uh, first round pick 31 in 2026. I think it was Jesse, but he's only had two years on a team. 2028, he played for the Jets uh, with four tackles, two assists, six tackle, six total tackles, a tackle for loss, and a sack. Was he first round guy? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And then for me last week, he had uh, two total tackles, two tackles for loss. Wasn't bad. Damn it. Rams are up now. God dang, hillbillies. Mark Lay had a decent uh, game. The rookie nose guard I got. He had a tackle for loss, but he was around the ball a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about this Trent Moyer kid. Who is that? He's that right in I drafted. Oh, yeah. He's going to start. Is he? Yeah. Damn. He's okay. not not the best guy, but, I mean, he's hidden development. and Yeah. 22. You want to jump on developing him. Yeah. That way I don't have to, you know, kind of cycle through ends like I have. I mean, I got DeForest for really cheap, though, so, I mean, it isn't going to hurt me but for DeForest not to start. Yeah. And I could also start the Antoine Powell kit if I wanted to. I might do that. I might let Trent and the Antoine Powell dude kind of rotate. Mm -hmm. Move to force inside, even though he ain't a true nose. There's not very often that I line up in a, you know, a, yeah. uh, a one tech. Yeah. Yeah. And he so, played defense tackle early in his yeah, career. In a four, in a oh, four go games. ahead, Cam Harris. Running over, folks, dude. That's what I've been waiting on your 6'9 ass to do. Jesus. That outside linebacker I drafted had a decent game, too. Did he? Yeah. Nothing crazy, but I know he had a sack, and he's doing a good job. Uh, decent job getting off a of tackle. I mean, off of uh, blocks. Blocks. He had four total or six total tackles, two tackles for loss, two sacks. He would have had more, but whenever I was playing for a long time, I kept thinking he was Jamin Davis, and they kept subbing him in. Yeah. So I just do bluff blitz and play him in coverage, <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep him from, keep Jamin Davis from getting hurt, but it wasn't even Jamin Davis. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try to play Cody Simon. A decent amount this year as well. Yeah, he deserves it. He deserves it. I was looking at it earlier, he's got the highest block shedding of all middle linebackers. Damn. I believe that.
There we go, come on. Get out of there. Oh, give me that. Good stuff. This Flowers kid is trying to get some PT. He made some oh, good Jesse plays. Played. Huh? Jesse played. Oh, nice. Did he win? No. He didn't? <laughs> Who did he play against? Falcons. Oof. Brownlee had 46 yards. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Marcus Byers, that undrafted receiver. Assigned. Yeah. Two receptions, 99 yards, and touchdown. He, uh, he caught a bubble screen and took it for a huge gain. Nice. Did you play your rookie corner free safety guy? Yeah, I started him. How'd he do? I got to go look. Uh, he was around the ball. He oh, flies around. Vikings beat the Jets 42-17. to yeah. He flies around, you said? Oh my god, yes. Good deal. He's just quick. You just sideline to sideline. Yeah. He had four total tackles. Nice. What scheme am I running against you? No idea. Don't care. Preseason, baby. I don't think I'm going to run Jacksonville's offense. We might see each other three times this year again, buddy. Yeah. I may play my starters against you in the first quarter. What? <laughs> For real? Why? Just on offense. All right. So I can see what it looks like in that system. Okay, that's fine. I ain't gonna give you a good look at all. I'm gonna put in my twelve stringers. <laughs> that's fine. Nah. That way you think like, oh, this system's great, and you get in the preseason or you get in the season and lose you to Bradley. No, I won't. I won't. I'll run that <laughs> system. Um, <laughs> The third week of the preseason. Yeah, because that's so, when I put in my starters third week. Yeah, so I can play my starters then. And, um, I'll just run. Huh, which one do I want to run? Run the Vermont Mountain Cats off. <laughs> <laughs> run old Navy's playbook. Hey, I got a backup quarterback that can do it. Me too. <laughs> Get the ball, you fucking bums. George Pierman's trying to fucking get some start time, eh? That dude's fucking dominating. Go run the Saints against you. Alright. So I'm between four systems. Okay. Well, really three now again. Yep. New Orleans, Baltimore, and you're sticking with what I have. Yeah. 17 to 17 in the fourth quarter. I'm straight. I'm playing straight third and four stringers against you. Cause I feel like we had a lot of injuries in last year's game, didn't we? 
I don't remember. TBH. Yeah. I gotta go redo my depth chart because I got that D lineman. Yep. At least the defensive lineman depth chart, I think. And probably the rush in. Bootleg. Blame it all on my roots. Shut up in boots. Ruin your black tie fair. Roughing the passer. Fucking killing my quarterback back here. Oh, fuck. Oh, he caught it! I thought it, it was like a duck going towards the sidelines. I was like, oh, this ain't complete. And Rivera fucking came down and dove for that bitch and caught it. <laughs> Both these guys are vying for, like, the the other outside role. Who? Uh, Rivera and Nick Flowers, I believe his name is. They're both, uh, I think they, I drafted them together last year. Nash. Hmm. Oh, Byers is nice, dude. Is he? I didn't realize he was as big as he was either. 6'4", 217, 93 speed. Damn. 93 change of direction. I'm up 24 to 17 on these bastards. I cut Dwayne Big Bitch Brother. Did you? Yeah, he was 58 overall tight end. He'd never play. He'd never develop. How old was he? 23, 22. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I well, go play in the go play in the fucking arena league. Yeah, Dakota Clark ain't making the team either. Who's 57 that? overall linebacker, middle linebacker. He was. Wait, 59 is an outside, but he's six foot two thirty. So. Yeah. Undersized won't make it. Won't cut it. Come on. Oh, give me that. Go ahead, What's Drummond. Huh? Score. Uh, tw score. 24 17, 4 minutes and 20 seconds left. My safety just picked it off.
27 to 17. Two minutes and 51 seconds left. Yeah, 251. Jaden Rashada must have fucking went off against the Vikings. Against or for? No, I mean for the Vikings against the Jets. My bad. I misspoke. Ugh. What happened? For the day, I got me a peanut butter sandwich. I shared that in 2015. It says life goals. I'm set for the day. I got me a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I like a peanut butter sandwich. Kenny Pickums. The only thing I'm missing this Madden from the next gen version is like the uh, player wants and needs system or whatever it's called. Yeah. That would add so much like depth to our franchise, especially since we're like this far in, you know. See how players change, like if they want to play for money or if they want a championship. Because conceptually, like say Quinn, he was, well maybe not Quinn, but like. <clears throat> Gary, he wants money. So instead of playing for a championship team, he goes and gets money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> get up. Twenty seven seventeen. I guess my backups are getting better. Oh, get some. Get some. Hey, even my four string running backs running his ass off. It kind of reminds me of Brownlee back in the day. Brownlee, like, worked, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. Finally got him a starting year. They got traded. Yeah, that's okay. Be like that sometimes. One thirty-four left, and I'm late for tutoring. Jesus, come on, get in there. Pulling on the goal line, never a good thing. But, oh God, I got killed. Who the hell is that linebacker? Jesus. Hey man, I pull on the goal line a lot. With old Milrow. Yeah. Look, quarterback power. Is B Weave going to play his game or? I don't know. Let me message him. Message him and see. I'd like for him and Jesse to fucking play sometimes since they do, you know? Mm -hmm. At least, like, that's the only preseason game he could play or something, you know? Jesse's sending sent us a video of a signed Josh Dobbs card. 
Oh, I saw that. Give a shit about no goddamn Josh Dobbs. The man who never was. Just like his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I scored 13 in the fourth. Pulled it out. 30 to 17. Good job, backups. He said no. No? He's not going to play? Yeah, so you can advance it. <sighs> okay. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to put him on aut autopilot again, then. Chicken spaghetti for dinner. Oh, I like some chicken spaghetti now. Say about the stats real quick for the stibbles. Um, excuse me? <laughs> Hicks had eight carries for 75 yards. That's the yeah. quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, mm. water boy, fullback. And he can paint. And he can pass. Fill up the gate, Ape Cooler. <laughs> Peace out.